with Scott Boyd, correct? Hi, everybody. And, and for everyone. <laughs> Pilot Review Show. What? Pilot Review Show. Oh, sorry. Pilot <laughs> Review Show. Apologies. Oh, sorry. So sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I love it that we're confused for Priority One. Oh, gosh. They're see. huge. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. It's all right. So tell our viewers what it is you do with Star Trek Online. I am the lead environment artist over on Star Trek Online, and I get to yell at a bunch of guys and tell them to get to work <laughs> and uh, kind of run around and do a lot of uh, meetings and whatnot, helping to kind of design our levels, making sure that they they're, they play well, making sure that our cutscenes for our game are in working well with our animator, because uh, I do cutscenes as well as... Um, mm -hmm working with the animator and do cutscenes as well as doing environment stuff. Um, but yeah, we have to deal, we have a lot of things where we have to deal with schedules. We always have to deal with schedules. So we're making sure that everybody's on schedule with their stuff and making sure that, hey, looking at the schedule, do things need to be cut in order to make sure that we have the best experience for everybody? Also quality, we want to, so our big thing now is we want quality. We want everything to look as, as good as we possibly can. And so if things need to kind of Maybe we need to cut a certain mm -hmm. thing to allow for as much time for the artist to uh, make yes. quality stuff that we, we do that. Um, so, and I, I'll do like, I walk around every day and kind of like, hey, you know, maybe shift that over a little bit or that color feels weird. Um, and every once in a while I get to do an environment myself. It's like so we, any environment that you've done that we would... I did, so I worked on Victory's Life. So we were doing Victory's Ooh. Life and then you go to the ore processing station uh -huh. Did you play that mission? I did. So the big long tower with yeah. the big movable platform, that, that was you. that was me. So oh. <laughs> it was a bit dark. That was a pain. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. I know. I we we, we design I so when we initially laid it out, I didn't want it to just be, hey, I'm gonna go do a straight line and just kind of have something just kind of clicky clicky move. So I are. wanted to be like I wanted to make your life hack. Yeah. So I wanted to like make it hard for you. You're so, not, you wanted to make it hard for us. Yeah. So I wanted to, you know, the idea of the movable platform because we okay. have certain technology. Look, if I, if our engine could support all this cool stuff, I wanted to do like all these crazy movable platforms. But unfortunately, yeah. our engine has limitations. So right. all we could do is have a, a platform go up and down. But I wanted to make some some. I wanted to make it hard for people. I wanted to make it challenging where I have to go here, do this, move over here, do that. So working with the environment so uh, have for to the think about it. Either. Right. That's what awesome. games are all about. You want them to kind of I don't want it to be just easily like click move, click this move. Is true. This so is true. um but I, it had to allow for the biggest thing is it needed to allow for a, a lot of room for uh, gameplay because with the uh, new DS9 mm -hmm. interiors they were a little more accurate to scale with the promenade and yes. stuff. Yes. But because they were accurate more accurate to scale that didn't leave a lot of room for fighting and combat yeah. stuff. So what we did is we said, okay, we're gonna make special room areas to allow for that. So the big ore processing station was this big open area okay. that allowed for you to fight the Herc. And I wanted the big, the big thing I wanted was the reveal. When you walk in that door and the door opens up and you see this big hole <laughs> and the fire and everything, I wanted right. that moment. So we got that in the cutscene, which was great. Yes. Um, I know it was a little dark. Was it too dark, you think, or? I don't know. I think it was okay. I managed to find my way around and, you know. We used a lot of lighting. Like, if you yeah. looked at, like, we used a lot of lighting to kind of help direct people. It yeah. It's like, follow the, the light here. That there's a blue light there. Okay, go there. There's another blue light there. So you yeah. follow the blue lights as you get to the yeah. top. It's but not it's conscious. Right. So we're yeah. trying to use a lot of color and stuff to kind of help guide the player along. That's kind of the thing that we're heading towards doing because a lot of games use that. Yeah. Uncharted uses a lot of that with lighting to kind of help direct kind the player. Do, yeah. Rather than just having a thing that says go here, go here. <laughs> I mean I want it to be like let the player kind of figure these things out as they go. Yeah. Yeah. So although I'll be honest, first thing I look for is like, go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Yeah. <laughs> And we, that we, is the first thing I, I look for. I know we we train the we've trained we everybody to kind of look that way because yeah. that's kind of what we do is we have that big bouncy arrow. Yeah. So, but if there's any way, I, well, I'd be curious to know what the fans think. If they're do they would they rather have the go here or would they rather have a, a I need to kind of question. figure things out on my own. I'm curious. Okay. Some sort of environmental effects. 
So MMO anthropology is saying some sort of environmental effect yep. uh, to give context is better than brightness or errors. So. Yeah. Right. It's like, yeah. hey, there's a there's a flashing light or there's something That's moving right. in the environment What's that says that over there? I need to go over there. Because yeah. there's a lot of games. If you, there's a game called Half Life Two, which is old, right. but they don't. They, there's no maps. There's nothing. You as a player just have, have to, to figure, it figure it out. And for, they have they do they do a good job of kind of mm -hmm. letting you know. You just. And if, again, if you get stuck, then it's like, that's what the internet's for, to go watch a yep. walk through and be like, oh, and that's where I go. Right. Go. So exactly. I, I, I think that's really nice. I think it makes, yeah. it, it kind of makes you feel a little more immersed in the environment. Because yeah. I think in some ways, when you have a big, you know, waypoint that just kind of says, do this, it's yeah. like, well, I mean, it okay. takes the immersion out a little bit. It, just a little bit. Nothing too major. But. Yes. And immersion is important as much as we tease people when they say my aversion it is an important thing right you know? and i think that's what the ds9 interiors we were really, really trying did. to go yeah. for was you know hey we're gonna have the the klingon deli we're gonna have the guy playing the accordion <laughs> in the klingon <laughs> deli awesome. and it's right because we knew people it that is. love this show are yeah, gonna freak out about that kind yeah. of stuff exactly. so you know i once when exactly. Nick, 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 when he was building this stuff, Nick and Donnie, they had this big list of things that they said, we got to have, I want that, I want I'm that. So, oh, sorry, but I no. need to readjust because I'm fumbling off of this chair. Oh, here, there we go. There we go. That's a little better. So okay. we had this big to-do list, yeah. and it was all like, deli, you know, <laughs> um, what are, just little signs that are hanging up, subtle, super subtle things that... Yeah. And fans are going to appreciate so right. and we geek out when we, exactly. we make it and we know when we're making it we're like they're going to freak out it's when they see these see. things I know I yeah. love them so we really do love those yeah. kinds of things anything that you've been working on that you can tease all I can tease yet? is the what we have on our big banner is yes. we got the rights to do Discovery mm -hmm. and we got uh, Mary Wiseman to do yes. Tilly, so she's going to be our our guest star for it, uh, which is super exciting. So yes. as I've been I've been kind of joking about it, maybe she'll swear in our game since she <laughs> swore on the show. Since she swore. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to have that happen. But no. it'll be really fun to kind of see her, and she's going to. Uh, for any of you guys that are out here watching, that are going to come to the show later, on Sunday we're going to have a panel. Yes. And she and will be will there be on the panel. we will be live tweeting. Okay, cool. Tyler Rubisha will be there live tweeting at least, possibly recording. Okay, good. Don't know yet. We're going to try and work that out. Hopefully. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. But uh, we will definitely be live tweeting at least to keep you guys apprised of what's going on with that panel right. on Sunday. So. And then we also have a panel today. Today, and we're we'll gonna be talk live about tweeting that as well. Nice. And we got a whole crud load of people yes, that are going to be there. Yes, including you. I will be there. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> so like you excited. never know. I might just take my shirt off and be like, "Here we go!" I'll snap a picture if that happens. I promise. <laughs> I promise that won't happen. No, but I, 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 it'll be my one and only panel that I get to do. So, as I'm, I've been telling people all weekend, what happens in Vegas stays, stays on in Vegas. YouTube. Oh. <laughs> I guess it does, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it does. does. So yeah, the so, discovery stuff that we get to do. I can't give you any more details than that, but I, me personally, I will just say you guys will be super excited about it because from the stuff that we're already making right now, I'm I'm really excited about it. So Dark Blade says, is there any type of map you haven't gotten to do yet from books or otherwise you haven't gotten to do yet that you would like to do? So any maps um, that you haven't that you'd like to? Well, I'm going to, you know what? I, that's a question I haven't even thought about. But, you know, I'd be I'd be curious because um, I'm a huge Wrath of Khan guy. That's like my that's where I start, this is where all this started from. Like I you know I grew up a big fan of that movie, and I know everybody says that, but I mean that was like my I, I'd seen the original movie and I'd known about the show, but when that movie came out, it was like this is amazing. And so I think about like you know it'd be really interesting if we did like a regular one. Kind of interior, mm -hmm. which never never thought about doing that until that question came up, and I'm like, That's wow, those hallways are really unique and yeah. interesting to do. Yeah. 
and you know when you come out there and you see the waterfall right. as an artist I'd be like wow that would look so amazing and how we could explore that but um, I, again I'm talking about the inner not right. the outside that would be really boring it's just a big rock in space inside. Yeah, the inside um, but um, I would I I it would make it a little hard to do that kind of stuff with our current um, time frame because it's 2409 kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, that might be, that would probably be interesting where it's like we go back and we see what it's like. Well, I mean, Temple Shenanigans. It's well, not even Temple Shenanigans, but you like, you go there and it's like, what would it look like now? Like, would, I mean, because I know they use, un, it was unstable material. Yeah, would that did. stuff just still be around with that That's interior? And if not, I don't know. That'd be kind of an interesting thing yeah. to relive. So you start off in those hallways and then you walk down the hallway and have you ever seen the like? You know, gosh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can quote that movie because I love it so much. But, you know, that would be... So I'm going to answer your question. That's going to be your answer because I think that would be a great place to go. That would be, that would be very interesting. To go. That would be very interesting. So anything else you wanted to share with us? Um, I, you know, one thing I'm going to share, just I, as, as happened last year, yes. it was my first year coming, coming here last year, uh -huh. and really getting to meet the fans, yeah. it really gives you a, a boost and an appreciation for what you do. On what I get to do on this project because you really see how people love the game how they love to play it um, and it, it really makes it like you, when you get to work every day you're like dang it I'm gonna do the best I can because those people love it so much and I want to give them the best experience that they possibly can and again to meet get to be hang out with awesome people like you you know and I think it's just great so you know thank you fans for coming out and supporting our game and you know being a part of the you know Star Trek online and we just love doing it and we're just gonna keep doing it as long as you guys want us to do it so thank you very much and you know what I'll add this but then now that it's like there's been this kind of rebirth of Star Trek you know the show and they're talking about doing more shows yes and you got Quentin Tarantino wanting to make a movie, to make a movie and it's yes. like which will be interesting and Patrick Stewart talking about coming back I heard Picard. about that I'm so like, oh. it's just like we got a whole lot of stuff we can yeah. do here we can just keep making this as long as as possible man That's so I, I I'm just excited about that yes. so We'll see how things go. Maybe we'll get Quentin Tarantino in our game. That'd be oh great. Oh my god. Maybe we'll get him as like a as a, I don't know. I think he might actually be one of those people that would do it. I actually agree. I think he would be one of those guys that would do it. Just for the sake of doing it. Yep. I'm like, we got we got at, we got Ensign Ensign uh, Taran, I don't know, whatever. We get Quint Quentin. And uh that would be oh my gosh, that would be so great. Oh we got another pilots. I, yes. Yeah, I know, but I heard something about like CW wants to do like a a, 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 a Starfleet Academy type yes, one, which would be interesting. Yeah. I don't know. That be, so, be we'll see how that turns out. All kinds out. of things being pitched. All, all kinds, of, kinds of stuff for us to just be like, yes. all right, more content for exactly. us to make. So. Exactly. We are definitely excited to see what you guys have coming up. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for letting me be on your show. Yes. Love you. Have a great day, guys. Okay, <laughs> see you too. later. Bye. Bye. Thanks.